and that was close to dude. What is up, everybody? In this video, we're going to be no-hitting Elden Ring using the Halo Scythe. This weapon is a rare drop from the lesser clean rot knights that are primarily found in the Swamp of Aeonia. In combination with the innate bleed that this scythe has, you can get some pretty crazy damage when you're up close on an enemy. If you want to watch this run in its entirety, you can subscribe to my second channel, More Gino Machino, where I'll be posting the full videos for each of these runs. But for now, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the run. Yeah, I think I've done Black Knight Sword as well. I've done quite a few weapons, no hit, and... Dark Souls 3. Hello? Hello? I am pleased. I... Wait. I see. I see it now. Humans all lose their wits eventually. There's nothing left to say except how this. Yeah, the Black Knight Sword is awesome. Yeah, it's really good. No, it's definitely not drama. I mean, I don't think they purposely set it up so that they knew they knew cbd would use all of his omits in the last game and then or in addition to that it was still it was a really good match but he should have at least tried right yeah halo size is pretty tough we've only done it a, we've only done three attempts so far though we just haven't really had a lot of time to attempt this run yet i actually don't really know what determines how far this guy walks Seems just kind of random. Well, I... Realizing my stats are all messed up because I'm not, I'm not uh, at RL one right now. An enigma for the bell bearing posse. It allows me to get Assassin's Gambit without having to kill Rikard or kill some other NPC that's even more annoying than him. How many ritual pots can you get? Like 10? I'm a little concerned with our levels right now. Why gone? Thanks for the good luck, dude. Okay, here we go. Nice one. Oh, the game lagged right as I was doing that roll. Oh, nice tree. I really, this is a cool looking boss arena, but I also hate it because there's so much crap in the way. Yeah, that's just how Elden Ring is, Donkey Tron, dude. That's just the game. <laughs> like, I think basically everybody says that. I 
I think I lined up too far left there. What the hell? Something's going on here, you guys. I don't know what it is, though. So weird, man. I don't know why that would be happening. Maybe I just wasn't... I was jumping really quickly there. Even though I, I try to jump... <laughs> like, I try to spam A there, basically. I have to go down here to get the rot pots for Gideon. Because this weapon... This weapon's just not good enough to kill Gideon. So... I get the Somber 7 down here, so it's basically just an alternative to going through Volcano Manor. Or going all the way through Volcano Manor now. Um, anything else? I think we're good to go here. That was really bad. Uh, Dino, thanks for the raid, dude. How's your stream, man? What's up, Chew? Did I watch this clip? Is this is this a learning opportunity for me here? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this happens if this happens if you're you aren't. Um, Far away enough. Yeah, if you just roll in, you'll get that actually every time. But you just you you don't even have to roll into it at all. Just rolling to the side is fine. Or even even backwards, technically, I think is fine. Yeah, now you know for next time. That's something that you don't really know until it happens to you. And it's just it's just about how it happens to you. <laughs> yeah, surely I haven't gotten hit by that exact same thing. The one thing though, this weapon is really good on for early game stuff. It's, you know, being holy damage is kind of bad, but even, or despite being holy damage, it's actually still, it's just got a really useful moveset for early game stuff. It just, I probably should have buffed outside. The problem is the late game. Malaketh is really bad with this thing. Or Lou's really bad. Everything's really bad with this weapon late game, essentially. But I really like this Ash of War. Ooh, this actually might be bad. I maybe should do a charge or two here or something. Ain spent his entire run on five times right card. <laughs> Chow is like, but. Gino did it, but to try to motivate him, they people said that. Even though I've totally not done that. Yeah, yeah. The the Gino said maybe, meme. Maybe I think that started during one of the Amit rounds ever. where I was I was watching the matches and I just I kept. I, usually I just say stuff that I would do, and then and then people just started going into Ains chat and <laughs> Gino said to do this. I, I think at first it actually started legit. People were actually telling him what I said, but then. Eventually, people just started saying, like, a bunch of random shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stuff like that, Bender. So funny. <laughs> Great Club actually just demolished the final bosses, dude. I'd, I would rather have a weapon that has a tougher early game like the Great Club does. Um, but then get 
an easy late game. Um, I, I use Cheat Engine to get this weapon because it's it's farmed at the... You, you, normally you... Um, you get this weapon by farming the Clean Rot Knights. But I, I, I don't farm for any of these weapon request runs, so we just cheated in. What's up, Collins? Please don't be too slow. Kind of sketchy to just go right away. I don't know. I usually don't do that, but... Seems to work out. Uh, fall damage does not count as a hit. Neither does self damage. Oh, I, dude, <laughs> good thing that didn't fucking whiff right there. Looked, it honestly looked like it was going to whiff. And I don't trust, I don't trust this weapon at all. At least the R2s. The R2s are so bad. Yeah, the repost animation looks cool, especially when you're doing it against uh, an NPC. You're not just shoving a big <laughs> blade horizontally through somebody's chest. Be too long. Well, it's, it's not that going through a cat. Bro. Please get lucky. Please get lucky. Kukri. <laughs> Insane quick thinking right there, dude. <laughs> Am I stupid, you guys, or something? Why did I only get 18 faith? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why did I only get 18 faith, dude? I don't know what planet I'm on. It's like, oh, yeah, 28. That's good enough. I mean, this should still be fine. But I'm just really dumb. Just losing 25% damage here. <laughs> Back to Lake of Rot, dude. Holy shit, that was actually really close. I actually don't mind him not going to phase two here. think you're going is he missing 25% damage no problem dude why doesn't he go to phase two uh because I didn't do enough damage there I, 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 unless I'm misunderstanding what you mean I actually did lose a run to gold for yesterday because I uh I ran out of stamina I did some charge r2 for some reason and then I just completely Oh, wow. I, I even forgot to put the holy tier in there. Nice one. Uh, so that was actually way less damage than I should have been getting. I was basically short 40% of my damage there. But yeah, he, Redan also does this weird thing where in order for him to actually switch to phase 2, his stone weapons, he needs to, he's, he needs to be facing you. So that's why for a few seconds there, he was just riding around in circles. There's three runs that I'm going to pick what they are, basically, because people requested just nothing. I'm probably going to proc myself with that if I wear this helmet.
Is it fast enough? But the the Great Club? The Great Club is is actually good for the final two bosses, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Howl is definitely fast enough. Yeah, because what 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 ends up happening is Howl Howl is a really slow buff, but it gives you the damage bonus really early, and then you just scream for a while longer. So you use Golden Vow first and then Howl, and then the cutscene will actually just cancel your Howl. Alright, so we gotta make sure we're fast enough here. I'm gonna switch to the Charge R2 tier because it's we actually use it here. So look at my look at my buff bar. So we get the buff right now. See? And then the rest is you're you're just screaming. What's up, Josh? How's it going, dude? And so yeah, it's easily fast enough. Please don't be too slow. I'm really slow here, I think. Oh, maybe I'm not. Wait, I was not supposed to do that. I was supposed to, <laughs> I was supposed to go into the weapon art. Oops. That works, though. The weapon art looks cooler when you're in up close. Yeah, you see this weapon through here, and it's like, oh, this is actually a really decent weapon. It's good. Or, it's very good early game. And if, if you're, you know, if you're wanting to clear out catacombs and stuff, this weapon would also be extremely good for that. One thing, though, with this weapon is that, you know, when we're doing these attempts, it really should be not that hard for us to get to at least this point. Because of how decent this weapon is early game. It's not like the club where... I could actually get hit by most of those bosses early game, like Godric and Redan and stuff. This one is pretty simple. But then it starts to get complicated about here. I don't know if we're going to use any Charger 2s. I guess it depends on the transition, what happens. Unfortunate. <laughs> All those just hit his fucking hand. I'm going to try to get a stun here. Why did I do that? God oh, damn it, dude. That follow-up R2 is so fucking slow. Actual slowest R2 in the game, dude. Too bad. I think, I, I'm pretty sure if I just did the weapon art on the eye a bunch of times, I would actually do so much damage. Might even gotten them there, I don't know. Might have even been enough. I hit there. <laughs> yeah, I love when Fire Giant just rolls, right? <laughs> That's a barrel roll right over top of you, dude. It's just great. 
though not a bad fight at all. Usually, usually that fight is way worse with this weapon, but we got a nice stun. The only thing I, I messed up doing was that second charge R2. What I should probably do in the future is do... You do one R2 and then maybe follow it up with an R1 into another R2. Because that follow-up R2 is just... <laughs> I don't maybe, know. Maybe you go I'll make yourself a sandwich while ever. that's happening. So this weapon for God's Duo is actually pretty decent. Surprisingly. Yeah, it's it's one of the uh, point rewards I have, K Woody, for people to um, pick a weapon for me to do no harem with, and then they've sort of been building up because I just haven't done them over the last. I think the old oldest one was from two years ago, and so now, at the start of the month, I just decided I'm gonna try to do all of them that have been waiting uh, before the end of the year, <laughs> and so there were like 40 of them. Yeah, somebody picked, I don't know, there's some meme ones that are really bad. Somebody picked a ladle in DS2. So some of them I'll, I'll change. And somebody requested a bow only in Elden Ring 2, which I don't know how I'm feeling about that. Okay. I'll see when I get there. Um... Oh boy, this is not- this- I actually really messed up. Fuck's sakes, dude. Should be okay, I, I assume. I, I don't know. For some reason, I thought... I don't know. I don't remember how I did this last time. Because there's no way I could have rebuffed with Howl, or else I would have procced myself, but... I thought last time I did the fight, I actually did rebuff with Howl there. I do really like this Ash of War, though. Just for, just for killing mobs, it's really good. But Ash of War, it's, um, Nicholas Ring of Light. Alright, this is where on, on Thursday I died. I got caught on his arm, and then he just didn't let me jump over it, and so I just died. Well, 89 too low for Malketh? Probably not. I mean, well, 77 right now, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's a bit different on a normal playthrough. Um, okay, here we go. How does he not stun, dude?
I thought I was dead for sure. That was that was so weird. Okay. That was so fucking weird that he did that, dude. He just canceled the follow-up into the immediate <laughs> the immediate spin. That was uh I guess it was a positional thing. I, I think he actually got caught on the pillar. And so that's why my roll was sorted into the wrong spot. Yeah, it's a nice recovery though. I thought for sure I was dead, dude. <laughs> I was I was pretty sure I was dead. Yeah, this is this is how they met this is how they tested Gideon and this is why they didn't fix any of his problems because they're like, oh yeah, you can just rot pot cheese him, dude. Yeah, and that's why they buffed him with the fast roll too. Because they knew everybody was just gonna do this, so it wouldn't matter. Yeah, his, his modded weapon, yeah, that has like some mega version of the debuff that it's supposed to have. That lasts for, I don't even know how long. It's what he gets. Radagon is probably the hardest boss in the run, but Orlu's pretty close. Ideally, you want you want high poise damage against, you know, these last bosses, but... Um, that's probably good. I should probably let's go with uh let's actually go with the, just the strength. I'll give you the I really use too many R2s ever. on Radagon. Alright, here we go. Hardest boss in this run.
That was so weird. You guys notice how he was in the ground right there? I actually thought the strafe just wasn't going to work because he was in the ground. Oh, you fucker. That was a nice one, Radagon. Okay. We're essentially just waiting for one attack here. One or two. Or one one of two attacks. 
get the transitions done. Unreal. He just he maybe I can't really go in this one because the charger two is too slow. Hit on that one. Oh boy, that was tough, dude. That was that was a pretty bad fight, but actually didn't do some of the more annoying attacks. Actually, here we go, another run done, dude. This this was this was pretty tough, but had a nice Radagon despite you know going for one attack that probably wasn't great. Yeah, we're halfway there, you guys. Halfway done the bet. That was good, dude. That was some good practice as well with like a tougher Radagon maybe, and Elden maybe. Beast too. Yeah, two oh seven, which is the longest one so far. It would have been right on pace if we had a. Decent RNG on Elden Beast there, but we did not. So yeah, I think we're going to be switching over to DS2. We're going to be doing a... Uh, uh, let me check here. Let me get this open really fast. Yeah, that was that was tough. That was a tough ending, dude. All right, what do we got? So we did Halo Scythe. Another run from Heisman completed. I think that's his third. And the next will be... Let's see. Who's that spear? Helix Halberd. Which I think is... Uh, I'm not mistaken, is in Shrine of Amana, right? 